So hey everyone, so this is my first attempt to share my knowledge with you guys and I decided to go with personal finance. I think everyone kasi kapag uh, intact yung finances natin, everyone will be better off now. So hopefully by the end of this video, you will have a better working knowledge on how to be successful with your finances. So I am Stav. And here are my five key principles to help you start and reach your financial goals. So before we begin, uh, three quick tips lang to help you retain yung mga key takeaways in this video, no? So, the first one is empty your mind and start focusing. So, imagine na uh, your brain right now doesn't know anything about personal finance and yeah, uh, it will help you be more accepting doon sa mga concepts na pag-uusapan natin right now. And second is to take notes. Uh, don't transcribe. Just get the main ideas and I think that would be enough. Third, quiz yourself. Makakatulong to sa pag-retain ng knowledge na nakuha mo. Now, with that out of the way, let's proceed with the first personal finance principle, no? which is your money mindset. Now, when I say money mindset, ito yung pananaw mo how you view money as a tool. Say, kapag nakatanggap tayo right now, you, the viewer, if nakatanggap ka ng 10,000 pesos right now, ano yung plano mong gawin doon sa 10,000 pesos? Now, some of you might like to spend the 10,000 doon sa mga gusto nilang mga bagay, uh, for example, gadgets, food, pwedeng sapatos, damit, whatever. And some of you, might think na I'd like to invest this in a company that I have already researched, diba? Or I can just invest it in a stock index. So, kunwari, PSEI. Yan. So, yung dalawang groups ng people na yon, those are what you call the people with the buying mindset and the people with the earning mindset. Now, during pre-college days, I find myself alternating between the two groups. No? So, what do I mean by that? Kapag uh, nakakuha ko ng baon ko for the week, say 100 pesos, sure ako yung 100 pesos na yun, ubus yun sa mga pagkain sa kantin. Now, take the case naman, kapag Christmas or birthday ko, may occasion, and makakatanggap ako ng pera from lolo, lola, and other relatives, my mother trained me to give everything to her. So, 10 seconds, mahawakan ko yung pera, diretso yun sa kamay ni mama. And mama was smart enough to open a joint account under her name and mine. So, dun ko nilalagay lahat yung pera ko. And as I grew up, I watched my money accumulate doon sa savings account ko. And hindi siya nag earn per se dahil ano I mean hindi acceptable for us diba pero at that time it was growing 1 to 2 percent but ang isa pang ano dun uh, importante dun na kailangan kong i-point out is nag-grow siya dahil doon sa tinuro sa akin ni mama to keep putting money in it diba and it wasn't until recently lang nung siguro nung nagtatrabaho na ako na realize ko what mama was trying to teach me. And that, that is yung pera ko has the potential to earn more money. So, yun yung first financial principle na ano, gusto kong i-point out sa inyo. Which is, get into the earning money mindset. So, it starts with us saving a portion of our income and then realizing na that income right there has the potential to earn us more money. So, I, I hope that made sense now. So, let's go to the second principle which is eliminating your debt. So, the worst experience na nakuha ko dito was back when I was 
running my board game business called the Hexagon. No? So, the three main costs for running the business, aside from the groceries and the marketing, is number one, yung salary ng staff. Pangalawa is yung renta, yung upa ng lugar. And thirdly, is yung payment doon sa utility bills. Now, there will be months, most months, na mababa, mas mababa yung revenue ng Hexagon kaysa sa doon sa upkeep. And that means paying the, ano, paying the employees first and then covering rent. But the rent was so high na wala na akong enough pera para bayaran yung utilities. So I ended up not paying the utilities doon sa management ng ano, nung naglilis sa akin nung space ko. And fast forward nung after one year kung inooperate yung Hexagon, I decided to close I decided to close the business kasi it wasn't doing well, no. And then I said to the ano, do sa may are I want to close the business. And they gave me the utility bill. It's 132,000 yung hindi ko nabayaran. And a majority of that 132k is mainly due to the fact na hindi ko binayaran yung utang ko and nagpatong yung 24% interest per ano. And <laughs> yun yung ano yung masakit na part doon. So So doon ko na realize na I should have allocated yung mga personal savings ko. Dati kasi nag save pa ako while running Hexagon. Pero dapat yung savings na ginamit ko, yung savings ko, that inallocate ko na doon sa pagpay ng debt and avoid the 24% interest. So, I think uh, yun yung second point is that eliminate your debt. Now, some of you might be asking, so is that my recommendation? No? Na instead of putting everything into savings, I should just put it I should put my ano extra money to eliminating my debt. For me, ano, I think yeah, it's a to a certain point maganda siya kasi it's high interest eh. So 24% is really high. So it, you should focus on eliminating your debt. But kapag siguro pag nakuha ko ng 10,000 pesos windfall, yung 95% noon pupunta sa debt, 5% pupunta sa savings just so that I can continue yung practice of saving, diba? And yun nga, which goes back to the first point which is the earning mindset. Now, for the third point, it's budgeting, no? So, alam ko, hindi lahat sang ayon sa concept ng budgeting for you. It might not be effective. Sa akin din naman, promise. Uh, so, what I'm proposing is using budgeting as a tool to track your expenses. So, yung, ano, yung budgeting, you can use it as a feedback loop and, ano, to cite an example, Kasi married, ano, once I got married, Cheer and I started budgeting, di ba? So, ang main categories ng budget namin are, one, yung, ano, food, syempre, transportation, utilities, and love life, love life. Yan. So, each month, we will track kung magkano, syempre may budget yun. Say, kunwari, food is 8,000. 6,000 transpo, utilities 36, tapos love life 3,000. So each month we will track magkano yung ano, magkano yung gastos namin and how much yung deviation doon sa budget. And this will give us a feedback signal na oh, for this month mas mataas yung gas consumption namin than usual. And for the other month, mas mataas yung electricity consumption namin. So it's it's a good feedback loop and it allows you to self-regulate. And for me, personally, I also budget my own personal ano, my own personal income. Kasi when you budget, ang, ang main point dito why we should do budgeting is that we have to make sure na yung pera na lumalabas is less than doon sa income na na-accumulate natin. And that's key, di ba? If you want to have savings. And if you're asking, now you're wondering, oh, so stop, di ba? Kailangan natin itrack nga. So how do you do that? So personally, para hindi hassle, ang ginagawa ko, meron akong app, ang tawag sa kanya Fortune City. So maganda siyang app, good yung interface, it's free also. May, ano, may, may paid version, pero I'm, the free version is fine. So you just, you just put in yung income, and yung ano cash out mo then you 
you track yung expenses mo and you just make sure na mas marami yung pumapasok kaysa sa lumalabas. It's that simple. So, number four is investing. So, I think this deserves another video. Mapapahaba kasi yung usapan natin if we dive deep dun sa mga specific strategies. Should you do 90% stocks? Should you invest in REITs, ETFs? Diba? Tapos, yung mga ano, syempre ano, yung portfolio allocation mo. So, I think that could be done in another video. Right now, I'll just talk about the two main strategies na depende ko nasa ang face ka na ng buhay mo. And then that is the wealth accumulation stage and the wealth preservation stage. So the wealth accumulation is more of the aggressive style no, ng pag-invest. So you have to allocate your money in a more aggressive manner. And this means a uh, high risk. So it's going to be a bumpy ride. And you keep on doing this until you reach your goal. I repeat, until you reach your goal. Then, uh, once you already achieve your financial goal, ang gagawin mo next is you enter the wealth preservation stage. So, this is more of reallocating yung investments mo in a manner na hindi na ganun ka-risky yung mga investments mo. And this provides more stability to your money. And since we're in the topic of, ano naman na, ah, of, ah, uh, investments, I'd like to point out the key things to look out for. You should be wary about these things kapag you are already formulating your strategy and tactics for investing. First one is it's going to be a bumpy ride. No? So have your emotions in check. So right now, uh, I, ano, back in 2015, nag-invest ako sa Philippine Stock Exchange Index. So it's an index funds na sa BPI that traces the PSEI. And right now, sobrang baba nun. So the best thing you can do right now kapag pulado yung mga investments mo is you just ignore it. And if you have extra money, you put in right now because the good companies are on sale. So you, it's a good opportunity to put in money for the long term. And yung isang, ano, isang thing to be wary about is you avoid the hype. And ano, yun, you, you avoid the hype. Uh, wag, wag ka masyado magpadala doon sa mga ano, get get rich quick na mga schemes like kunwari, oh bitcoin is ano di ba Mag, ano is the next big thing fear of missing out di ba fomo so wag, wag tayo magpapadala sa hype and it's important to keep in mind when you're investing para ano maging ano siya maging meaningful talaga siya para saan ba ito para saan ba yung nag-iipon what are your financial goals di ba hindi mo naman pwedeng sabihin gusto ko maging mayaman di ba it's, that's very vague so if you say you want to retire early so ganun example ko I want to retire early so what's early sabihin ko 45 years old so what's your definition and next is what's your definition of retirement and reti retirement for me is not necessarily sitting around the house and playing video games or watching Netflix. It's more like working two to four hours a day at my pace. Tapos, ano, siguro pa consult consult na lang. And, ano, uh, spending more time with, ano, the, the kids. Yung, ano, spending more time on meaningful things na not necessarily electrical engineering, di ba? So, yun, kunwari, that's, that's a goal, di ba? 45, uh, I'll just be working ano, uh, 2 to 4 hours a day Then, ito yung cost of living ko And dapat ma-achieve ko yun So, at least there's a finish line, ba? And there there could be multiple goals ha? Hindi lang retire at 45 May isa ka pang financial goal, pwede yun, Na I should have this amount of money for my kids So, kunwari, ang, I'll, st I'll invest in this stock and after 20 years, kukunin ko yung stock na yan. That will be the college fund ng anak ko. So, pwede ganun. You, have, you can have multiple financial goals. So, last, the last ano, item, it's unlocking your human capital. So, let's face it, no? the COVID-19 forced things on us. So, education institutions are adapting the e-learning concept, di ba? A lot of people are transitioning to e-commerce. And it's really hard for those who can't keep up, diba? And at the same time, it's an opportunity for us to take advantage of the digital age and learn new skills. And because learning new skills allows us to either provide more value to our 
company because I, I think most of us are working right now. And at the same time, create multiple streams or income, di ba? Passive or not. But it's important to note dun sa last, ano ko, last na sinabi ko na it's still about having a stable job, di ba? It's good na if we succeed on, you know, if we succeed on one stream of income. But I think at this, ano, at this age pa lang, it's important na we have to work hard to do well in our job because that will be the source of e, source of our, ano, of our stable income. Pero kapag nagawa nyo na, and you're living the dream, so congrats. So the key takeaway for the last item is yung, you have to keep adding tools no, to your utility belt. So parang Batman lang. Kailangan marami kang tools sa utility belt mo para kapag may, ano, may, na, may nangyari na issue, ready ka kagad. Ready ka to ano provide ano ready ka to address that issue and at the same time as you grow your uti- your utility belt mas marami kang nabibigay na value to others and at the same time you get compensated for it yung compensation not necessarily so i, I was referring to work so you you know for example you take ms you bring in more value to your company you get compensated yeah so i think those are the five key principles to begin your personal finance adventure and if you have any questions if you want me to elaborate on any of the topics don um uh, pwede ano ano lang i-comment nyo lang then I'll be happy to make another video or kung kaya naman siyang sagutin ng derechahan I'll answer it sa comments na so right now ang nakita ko na request sa mga nakausap ko is ano daw graphic design course so I, I'm thinking of starting a Photoshop ano, Photoshop uh, mini course I, I'll call it na lang na Photoshop Skillshare para kay Juan because I prefer Taglish na lang kapag natuturo ako so anyway thanks thanks for watching this is Daddy Stab from Daddy Stab PH peace